Hey YouTube, and what's up? It is Growscore, and this is Growscore teaching you how to cook number two, lads. So what's going on, lads? We're gonna get straight to it. I've got a new recipe for all you people out there, so yeah, just uh, watch and learn. Right, first thing we've got here is peppers, man. But I don't know what the fuck is going on here with my pepper. I don't know, it kind of went a bit weird. I just, I just bought this a minute ago, so I don't know what the fuck is going on here. We bought ourselves some chicken. I'm gonna slice that up right nice and good for y'all. We got also macaroni-like looking um, pasta because I'm gonna be adding it with this sauce and making it look proper nice. But on top of that, I'm gonna bake it so it's gonna look decent, and I'm gonna add extra cheese just so for you people it's gonna be right nice and cheesy. I know a lot of people out there like a bit of cheese. And plus, on a side, I thought, why the hell not add a bit of meat? This is Mexican chicken. I picked up the wrong thing. It's meant to be barbecue. It's actually Mexican. And so what we got is this pot here. We're gonna add the pasta in. It's pretty old and battered. Same for here. We'll be doing the chicken on hiss, and then we're gonna be whacking it in the oven. And then we got this to get drain the pasta. Here's this is what we're gonna be baking it in. It's well for the pasta. This is what we're gonna add. We're gonna measure it up so make sure we can, got, we can check the milk measures and the water as well to add it to the fucking to the pasta and it's our plates at the end of that. So let's get fucking started lads. Right and we not nearly forgot right fucking this chopping board. Now a lot of people have been saying she already cut your veg on the same fucking bloody chopping board as your meat but I say fuck it why not? It's all gonna be slapped together why the fuck not? But you shouldn't lads don't listen to me. It's gonna be ill. It's not my fault, but I do it anyway. I'm not ill. Do I look ill? I'm not ill. Right, here is my oven. It's nothing amazing, but what I'm gonna do for you people out there, I'm gonna show you what's going on. This one here turns it on completely full blast. This one here is just a light. It's gonna make it look a bit fancy. This one here is just cooking from the bottom. If you see that, it's a little thing. And that one there is just like a bit of a grill. If you wanna grill out some toast, that's good. But this one here is one that I wanna use. Check this out. This one here, this is duck cooking both sides, top and bottom. Now this is your degrees. This is how much you're gonna fucking cook it at. So so on my sachet here, it says you've got to cook it at 180. You guys can't see that. The camera's a bit shit. But 180. So we're going to go here. Where it's, you can see it's, it's going up by like, uh, what is that? 50 each. So there's, there's 150, 160, 170. 180. Boom. There we go. It's on 180. And that is now going to preheat. Now when the light goes off, that means the oven is ready. Until then, it's still fucking warming up. So put it in. A lot of these fucking sachets and all these food are going to say yo, whack it in a preheated oven. That means you've got to wait till your oven cooks and gets a bit hot and then you put your shit in. So, while that's preheating let's prepare the food. Right lads, basically a lot of people have been saying that using the wrong knife or cutting, but basically I just get by. So here we got just a normal knife. I've been using that for my fucking chicken. It's pretty fucking sharp and this one here is also sharp. I've been using that for my peppers. Don't worry about that. I love fucking peppers. The first one I'm going to do lads is get fucking the chicken out and on the go. Let's push all this side. Don't all need that. We'll sit down about that. Let's get the fucking chicken. Oh my god. Let me just. Oh my god. Look, Draymond's loving it man. He's like, Dad, what the fuck are you doing to that chicken? Mm. You want some of that chicken? That's good shit. Oh, that is good shit. Right, make sure your hands are clean lads. Uh, because basically, if you don't wash your hands, then you're going to have like a lot of cheese on your chicken because you'll be touching your dick because you've got cheese all over your dick. So at the end of the day, I've washed my hands. Or have I? No, I have. I have. It's all good. And we sliced up this chicken to basically look like it's meant to look like on the packet. So that's what I, that's what my goal is. To slice up nice and good. Make it look like that. On top of that, guys, with chicken, it's really fucking dangerous to like touch it all and then touch your surfaces. Because chicken could spread and you get like all that Somalia or whatever it's called. What's it called, chat? I don't know. What's it called, darling? I don't know. Salmonella. Salmonella and all that shit. So make sure that you're rinsing your hands thoroughly before you're touching anything. So if I'm touching this, oh my god, gotta fucking wash that now, you know what I mean? When I bend this shit right now, empty my bin, that's all ready to go. Good. I'll remove the pasta aside, don't need that just yet. We also gotta put everything aside because I just wanna focus on slicing up the chicken, some good fucking shit. And what I'm gonna do here is take off my watch, make sure my watch don't get sliced up, and we're gonna fucking get to it, lads. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is cut up this chicken. So what I'm going to bring this closer to you guys so you guys can see. You see on the chicken there's like this shit? That is not good. That's like called fat. So what I'll do, I'm just going to get that out of here. I say, you know what? You can fuck off, mate. You can sit in the corner. And why is this happening? I'm just going to cut it out. What you want to do is put down some pressure on it. And you're going to go right through this chicken like it's nothing, mate. Like fucking a knife, nice knife through fucking butter. You're just going to cut right down. If you flip it over, oh, look, there's the fatty shit again. Just get rid of that. You don't want to eat that. That's the grisly bitch. You know you'd be eating your chicken at home and every now and then you'd be like, mmm, this is good chicken. What is that? Oh, that's chewy. Oh, what is that? that? That's basically the gristle. That's that shit over there. So that's why I don't like to fucking include that bit over here. Now be careful what you're doing. You don't want to slice up your fingers because if you get blood all over your fucking chicken, it's going to look like fucking... Uh, steak, because that's what people have, they have the bloody steak. You can't get bloody chicken. You get bloody chicken, you're gonna fucking, you're gonna be ill, because that's the most dangerous thing, man. You're eating your chicken, and when it's fucking, it's not cooked, you're gonna be sick. There was that chicken swine flu, I'm not quite sure if it's the same thing, but at the end of the day, bad chicken, man. You gotta eat it when it's thoroughly cooked, and basically it's gonna look right good, 
when it's finally cooked, it's going to look a bit brown. No pink. Make sure that's a thing for all you kids out there. If you're cooking for the first time, you're fucking eating pink chicken, you're going to be sick. So make sure you don't ever eat pink chicken. It's pretty easy. Let's pretend that this, this meat here is served to you. Now let's all pretend this is all brown and lovely. Now, when you cut into it, and you're going to take a bite, you notice that the insides are still like this colour. That means the chicken is not cooked. Just say, look, love. Take that back to the fucking kitchen. I'm not eating that shit. I want my money back, all right? And then your mum's going to turn around and say, don't talk to me like fucking that. I know how to fucking cook. Right, what I'm going to do, after I slice up all this damn chicken, what I'm going to do is start preparing everything that needs to go in the oven. Because I've got this thing here, this packet thing, basically it relies on getting a little bag and putting the chicken inside it with my peppers. So I've got to time everything correctly and I want to hurry up and cut up this chicken because my oven's going to be preheated in a few more minutes and I want to get everything boom, right into the oven because that needs to take about 40 minutes to cook, which is not fucking very good if we're hungry. Because we're hungry right now, we want to eat now, but we better go, 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 go. Get all this shit done and get this all in the fucking oven. Very good. This is very good. That's right. Slice that mother bitch. Slice her right up. Mm. Make sure it doesn't go on the sides. You have to wipe down the sides after. As I said about chicken, if you're going on the sides, man, you're going to have to rinse the sides afterwards. It's no fucking good. Fucking fatty, man. I don't want no fat on my fucking plate. Thank you very much. I just want the meat. I'm not, no, I'm not interested. I'm a bodybuilder, man. Look at me. I'm fucking massive. I don't want no fat. I want the fucking chicken! A lot of you guys will notice the chicken's really good for you if you don't fucking eat it at KFC, if you get it bought home from Asda or Sainsbury's or Tesco. If you're taking chicken home and you're eating chicken on your plate, it's very good for bodybuilders, man. That's what the bodybuilders eat. They love a good old bit of chicken and the eggs. Eggs, but I'll tell you something, man. If you're gonna eat the eggs, it's the white shit, not the inside of the eggs. The inside of the eggs, the yolk, is actually very bad for you. Bodybuilders won't tend to eat that. They like a lot of chicken, a lot of meat for all that protein, because a lot of chicken's got a lot of protein in it. I mean, pretty much all the meats have got a good protein in it, but chicken is very good. It's not that expensive, I'll tell you that. It's not very it's expensive. One thing that is expensive is fucking steak. You may stand away from steak, man. It's pretty damn expensive. I'm just gonna cut up all this, make sure I've got it nice and fine, beautiful. I'm gonna look through here, everything's good. And I'm just going to cut this. That's what I'm doing right now, lads. Make it look very good. Making sure that this is all nice and thin. So we can pop it in our mouth without cutting it up too much. Lovely. Just, just popping it in there. Fucking pop, pop, pop. Basically, what this wants me to do is put it in the oven for 15 minutes, the chicken raw. But instead, I'm going to cheat a little bit, right? I'm already going to cook up this up. You can fry this right quickly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smack that on there for 10 minutes. I want to put it on there. I'm then going to fry it into the oven for about 10 minutes as well because I'm too fucking hungry. I ain't got no fucking time to waste. Do I look like I've got time to fucking waste? I've got no fucking time to waste. Thank you very damn much. Oh, get out of my fucking bin. Rinse in that hand. That's what I'm going to do. Rinse that hand. Make sure, make sure I've not touched anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oven is now preheated. Fuck me. Let's get on the go. Right. Same as before, lads. The oil needs to go on. Man, so you don't burn your fucking pan. That's what I'm going to do. Add a drop of oil on there. That's a bit too much, but it's alright, lads. I'll make it work. Letting that fucking heat up. I'm going to turn this up. Full blast. So the oil fucking heats up. While that's happening, I'm going to get my fucking pasta out and get the pasta on the fucking go. Don't worry for all you people out there. The pasta, if it gets fucking bad and it's been a bit too long, I'm just going to turn it right down and let it simmer. Hey, Shanna, how much pasta do we want? I don't know. We're going to have loads. Loads of pasta, man. That's good. Mmm. Lovely. Check, check this out. Look. I've got one bit of pasta that's like orange. What the fuck is this? It's going to fry them back now like this. Don't worry. There we go. Your watch. There we go. Now, a lot of you people out there, what you can do if you want to speed up the process of cooking your pasta, it's pretty simple. You can either add boiling water, but I don't. I don't add boiling water. What I do is I don't fucking get the cold water and put it in. It doesn't make a fucking difference. I, I don't think anyway. Make sure the water is coming out cold. Let it go for a few seconds. That is very nice and cold. That's right. There we go. You could add a drop of a bit of salt in there, but I don't want to add my salt to my pasta because salt is very bad for you. Ours brought up not to apply salt because salt, man, no one likes a salty person, you know? I don't mind a bit of salt on my chips every now and then when I go to a fish and chip shop, but not salt on the pasta. That is a no-go. Right, now that's all the fucking oils all getting nice and good. I'm going to add the fucking chicken to the Mr. Pan. And he's going to say, oh, hello, Mr. Pan. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. I'm nice to meet you. Let's get cooking together. Holy shit, we had a phone call. I'm sorry, but basically we didn't miss nothing. Right, the chicken's on the fucking go. Let me, let, let that just have a nice little fucking stir. There we go. I've turned him down now because I was AFK. Here's my pasta, let that go. I'll just put that, I'll turn that pasta right up and the chicken is having a good time. Now what I'm doing, lads, is I'm just going to separate the chicken from each other so they can all get a better time cooking. There we go. That's all turned down. It's all going to calm down in a minute. 
We want to calm down. But what your goal is here, lads, is basically to stir it so there's no pink on your chicken. Well, that's what your goal should be. Making sure there's no pink and it's there all fucking just cook up right nicely. So what you want to do is flipping the chicken every time you get an opportunity to. Every time you see a bit of pink, just give it a flip and let it fucking go. Let it simmer. Let it just meet the pan. Let it get to know. Let all the oil drip into the fucking chicken and let it have a nice time. We need to cook this chicken thoroughly. If we don't cook this chicken thoroughly, we're going to be fucked up. Now what you could do, if you really want, because when chicken starts cooking right nice, what you can do is start cutting it with your fucking spatula. Like what I do is I get that and I dig it right down. And look how easy that cuts, man. I'll show you again. Here's a bigger bit right here. Just cut, push down and boom, it's cut. Like you can do that if you really want. I've done this thousands of times and I've made like little chicken pieces and it's really addictive and it's really fun. And it's always nice to get like, if you're too lazy to cut, Man, just throw down the chicken on the fucking like pan, let it cook up, let it get a bit cooked, and then you start slicing it. It's fucking awesome, man. Right, good. Now, what I'm going to do is leave all this to cook and get a bit brown. I've turned this right down so I don't burn it. I don't want burnt chicken. You see, this is already going brown, so I'm already going to just leave it on number one. I've turned down my fucking shit. I've turned down my pan, so now, basically, that's going to just simmer. Now, while that's happening, lads, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking rinse this, because I get a lot of people complaining that you shouldn't really cook your fucking meat on the same as your fucking, like, your, your cabbage, your peppers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this and then start slicing my peppers up, yeah? I'm rinsing it right now. I'm rinsing it. And just because some people can be arseholes, what I've done as well, is instead of using the same chicken knife, I'm actually using a brand new knife just for this one situation. Because I know a lot of people can be a bit of like a, a bit bitchy on the comments. You know, one or two people, not everybody, just one or two people. So I'm making their day doing what you said, you see? Now, peppers. Easy to cut. You see this fucking stem here? We don't want this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut them right down. I'll show you this guys last time, just one more time. Me and Shannon love peppers. We're gonna cut them right down. Get rid of that fucker. We don't need this shit over here. And all the seeds. Remember what I told you about the seeds? We don't really need that. So what I'm gonna do is just do this, do that, and cut them around like that. And then that's all gonna come out. We'll just rip that fucker right out. Boop. And now your goal here, lads, is to get rid of all the seeds. Don't worry, we can wipe down the sides, don't worry about that. But I don't want no seeds in my fucking food, because the seeds don't taste too good. They're crunchy, they're not very nice. Some people have it, I don't fucking know, I, I will guess some people have it, but not me, man. You know, I, 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 don't, I, just, I just want the fucking, the good shell. I don't want to get any fucking seeds on my fucking plate, man. I don't want that shit. Now, what I'm going to do here, lads, is I'm going to slice it down this way, and make it look right good. Just, there we go. Now watch your fingers, because as it gets thinner, you're like, it's very hard to maintain. So I'm going to flip it down, and then start slicing it down like so, man. I like that shit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this into the baggies. Where the chicken goes in the oven, I'm going to add it into the bags, and I'm going to let it, and all the juices of the peppers mix with the boy chicken. Mr. Chicken and Mr. Pepper are going to be together. Oh, no, nice to meet you, Mr. Chicken Sauces. I love you. I love you too, man. Why do we need friends? Yeah, why the fuck not? Now, I don't like yellow peppers, honestly. I think yellow peppers are gross. I think orange peppers are also gross, but don't worry, it's all going to be going down the same hole. Look at the seeds there are fucking hell. And we're going to put that aside, same again, get rid of all the fucking seeds, and we're just going to fucking slice this shit up. I'm going to have every pepper, man. Green, red, yellow, we're going to have it all tonight. Now that is done. Let's start slicing. Now you guys might be wondering to yourself, why do you need a chopping board? Well basically I know some people out there might not never cook in their life, but you need to have a chopping board so you don't cut your surface, because then you're going to get all surfaces, you're going to get all your surface scratched, and then your landlord's going to be like, uh, excuse me, you've been cutting my, my, my fucking surface up, I'm going to cut your face off, yeah? So you've got to basically not cut that damn surface, and be real careful with the blade, by the way. You're going to be cutting off no finger as well. People be knowing you as Johnny, yeah? They say, Johnny, Johnny two fingers. Why has he got two fingers? Well one day he's cutting up some peppers, yeah? And basically they sliced off these one of his fingers, and basically now he's only got two. But what happened to the other two? Oh man, you don't want to know, but that's just a different story. Cut that shit up. Man, slice them down. I like slicing them downwards. It's just because I like putting my mouth like this. Mm. I'll have that one, I won't give it to my girlfriend, don't worry. Now I don't know what the fuck happened here, but someone had a bad upbringing. You see, he got beaten up by the other peppers. The other peppers are like, look, yeah, you're not one of us, yeah? You're green, that's disgusting. Why don't you be yellow or red? And he went, look, I don't need to start an argument. So basically he got punched in the face, and now basically he's been bruised the fuck up. The poor bastard, poor bastard. Wow, this one's got four, man. Like, this one is very... As we see it here, there's white bits. I don't really like them bits. So what I'm going to do is get my knife in there. Give it a nice fucking slice up. There we go. I don't really like the look of this actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut around it like so, 
like fucking like a pair of, pair of scissors, would, scissors would do, you know, on, on like a piece of paper, and just go fuck off, I don't want you in my life, you know, it doesn't, last time now, we're going to have Mr. Green Pepper right here, slice them down, we can do it anyway, there's no specific way to cut peppers, but well, as long as you're slicing them up, you don't want to eat the whole thing full, man, that's not right, you've got to have to share, you know, learn to share, sharing is always good, giving to the family members is always nice, and just slicing this down, one by one, look at this point, this one they want to go, I'll make you fucking go, son. This one's a bit too thick, like my penis, so I'm gonna say no, mister. I'm gonna have to cut you in half. You've been a bit greedy. Share, man. Now you're twins. Yes. Get hungry. Boom. Now we now have successfully sliced with the peppers. I'm gonna get rid of all the garbage. I've got some room to prepare, yo. Right, let's check on that chicken, shall we? How are you, Mr. Chicken? Yes, he's been doing very good in there. Look, oh, he's doing great. He just wants a bit more attention. He's a bit of attention seeker. You know, he's not on too much of a high cook. So I'm just going to start a bit more. There we go. Get to know, get to know each other. Come on now. Holding hands. There we go. Just, just, let, him, just let him off. I'm going to turn up slightly because he's not cooking too much. He's just on a slow cook right there. And how's the pasta doing? The pasta out there is just, is just going. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my fork and give it a bit of a stir. Now it's always good to stir, just basically so the pasta don't stick to the bottom of the, the uh, pot. So that's why you want to stir it every now and then, just give it a bit of a stir. Always keep checking your pasta, just keep stirring it. If it's on a high heat, you guys got to stir it. Nice, nice, there we go. There, he's not sticking anymore. If you don't stir it, they're all going to be stuck together, man. And that's not really too good when you're eating it. It's like, man, I'm eating 10, 100 pasta shells at the same time. Now the pasta is boiling, so what I'm going to do, guys, because it's getting real hot, and because the pasta is at boiling, and it's already getting real soft, I want to turn down the pasta completely to like one, you know, it's just so we can sit there and simmer in his hot water so all the pasta can absorb the water around him and it's going to turn out to be real big pasta. Don't be afraid to add a drop more water if you need more water because basically there's a lot of pasta in there so it's all going to fucking absorb the water so quickly that you're going to can add some more water, don't be afraid lads. Now Mr. Boys and Girls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this and this is pretty damn good, this is pretty smart technology what they have here. You basically, you open up the top and at the top they give you a bag and in this bag you're going to put down your chicken in here, you're going to put down your peppers in here and you're going to whack it all in the oven just so we can get a bit of cooking together, all the juices come together and they all get along and it's fucking great man, it turns out looking like that, hopefully it's going to be a fucking amazing dinner. Here I am opening it up, yes, plenty of room for plenty of food. It's just basically a bag, that's what all your food's going to be going in lads, all your food's going to be going in there, it's going to be fucking great. Right guys, it's going to be time now to add the fucking chicken to the bag. Right, chicken's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty solid, it's okay, it's been on the cook for a good 15 minutes now, so that's okay. Pasta's looking mighty good as well, you give it a little bit of a stir, how are you doing pasta? I'm doing good, thanks Mr. Ali. How are you today? I'm doing very good. How's the videos coming? They're going okay actually. What I'm gonna do is get all this chicken and put him in here. Mm. Get in there. Don't worry, there's, there's no oils anymore because all the oils that I added to the pan are actually now absorbed into the chicken. So basically that's, that's not fattening at all. It's gonna be pretty damn healthy. I'm being sarcastic. Everyone can laugh a bit of sarcasm now and then. Plenty of chicken. I like plenty of chicken. Now these bags aren't made to hold too much chicken, but I like to live my, my life on the edge. That is exactly what I'm doing. Throwing down all the chicken into the backpack. Right, no, my dog can't have any chicken. Not today. So we are now done using the pan. We're going to move on now to the chicken. So you should have something looking like that. That is just all the chicken in there. And we're going to now get the seasoning out of the bag. And we're going to be applying it with the chicken. So he's now in there, oh look at that shit, we're going to be putting that with Mr. Chicken, yes, he's all going in, way, get to know each other, you love each other, be nice, make friends, don't worry, I'm going to be eating you up all soon, more hot, you're too late to go back now, I got you in there you fuck, basically I have the chicken now and that's all good in there with the sauces and I'm going to be adding up the peppers in here as well, we've got a lot of pepper, Shannon doesn't like the yellow pepper I don't think but I don't give a fuck about her, oh, I actually do man she's my girlfriend, what can I say, peppers are all going in, green pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, all get to know each other, boom da da boom, get in there, right that's all in there, you got to look good like something like this lads, you see, that's all in there, we don't need this fucking chopping board anymore, so this can go in the sink along with my fucking knife, Unless you want to shank somebody, of course, but you don't want to be shanking anybody. I mean, why shank somebody? Just, if you want to get a kick at shanking somebody, just go down and fucking shop and buy yourself some meat and cut that up. But right, now what we're going to do is just give this a good old fucking mix like this. Get in there and let them all get to know each other. Oh, 
That's right, mix all that up. Mate. Now this can last a few minutes, so let's just keep doing that. It's a very, these bags are very thick, by the way, so don't be scared of them bursting. I actually bought some cheap ones, of course. I don't want to see no white chicken at the end of this. I want to see all the meat covered in seasoning. I've been doing this now for about two minutes. Gonna keep doing it, make sure it's all mixed up together. Now basically that is ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this up and I'm just gonna get the red rope and put it around it. Give it a bit of breathing room as well, like so, man. Just so it can breathe a little bit in there so they're not gonna die. It's ready to go in the oven. So they can put that in the oven. He is now going to the place of no return. What I'm gonna do is put them on this, like that. I'm gonna put them on there. Spread it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now what I'm gonna do, that's all there. Bit of chips from earlier on, don't mind me boys. And I'm gonna get this, and I'm gonna whack it right in there. It says to put it in the bottom, but I don't think that matters too hard. I'm gonna smack it right in there and let that go for about 20 good minutes. Just so all the juices can all fucking suck up with each other and like loving each other, you know, they're sucking on each other, they're, they're loving it. So now we don't need to worry about the chicken anymore or the peppers. Our main focus right now is gonna be on the pasta and this is basically looking pretty damn done. So that's pretty good. You can tell when pasta's pretty done because it's very soft, it looks very good, it smells nice and what you can do is try it. Don't be afraid to try your own cooking while it's in progression and just, yeah. Let me, let me, let me give that a bit of a taste. You shouldn't really be leaning over the food like this, but man, whatever. Mmm, man, mmm, wow. That is definitely pasta. Okay, that is pretty done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually pour out all the remaining water out of the pasta and add the sauce. And that is what this is for everybody. So I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna put that like that and I'm just gonna put that in there and let all the remaining waters come out the bottom. You see, all the water is coming out. All the water just coming out of there, all the remaining water, there, all the starch, that's all dripping to the bottom into the sink that I'm gonna throw away. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do now, lads, is now that's all done, I'm gonna be adding the pasta into this, the baking tray. Is it baking? Is where I'm gonna bake it. So I'm gonna throw down all the pasta in here and I'm gonna add all the sauces together so they can all go for a quick bake. Pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add all of this, this sauce in here. Now what they, they said, you should really put it on the pan and let it go, but I'm gonna risk it and whack it right in the oven. Shh. Rip that shit right open. I'll throw all this in there, all the powder in there. Boom, da da boom. That smells very cheesy, that's great. That's exactly what we need. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mix all this in, like that. Now as I said, this is not the correct way to do it, but I'm gonna fucking yolo it anyway. I'm just gonna get them all mixed in right there. It's all the powder, but I've also had more further instructions on the packet. It's telling me now to add milk into the fucking pasta as well with the mix. So I'm not gonna be afraid of the instructions and add a drop of milk just like that. Just like so. Not too much, not too much. We don't wanna, we don't wanna fucking be all fatty. But this is not a milkshake we're making, Mr. Gross School. No, it's not, no, it's not. This is actually pasta, cheese. It's gonna look fucking great. The kids are gonna love it. Everyone's gonna love it. And it's just mixing right in there. There we go. Let all the juices of the milk cover the pasta shells. So make sure you give that a good old mix. Give your meat a good old rub. And there we go, man. So this is pretty much, we're actually getting towards the end now. So I'm just gonna stir all this in. Yeah, pretty easy. Make sure all the pasta is separated and it's all getting to know each other. Make sure you get every bit of cheese and sauce mixed up. There, lovely. Yummy, yummy, yummy for my tummy. Beautiful, man. That's great. Now, if you can, if you're doing this in real life, you're gonna be noticing that the milk is actually going. Like the milk is all like hiding away now. It's all absorbing into the pasta and into the into the powder itself. What I'm gonna do is the next step. So you should have something like this. This is looking good. You could eat it like that. You could, but you shouldn't because you can make that shit look a lot fucking better. What I'm gonna do is live life to the limits and add a bit of cheese. It's telling me to use scissors to cut this open, so I'm gonna do that. Voila. And now I'm gonna be adding the cheese. This is mid medium cheese, guys, because I don't want a mature one. It's like a bit of a stronger cheese kick. Because it's already a cheesy macaroni, I don't add any more. So what I'm gonna do is just throw down all that pasta, all that cheese onto the pasta like that, and empty the whole damn thing in there. Why? Because this is what this is. This is gonna be a cheesy fucking macaroni. That's all nice and dandy. Now your end result, lads, is to have something like this. 
This is exactly what I've got. That is just covered in cheese and that is looking great. My chicken's in there, he's having a good time and my fucking cheesy pasta is ready to go in as well. Now as for baking, baking doesn't actually take too long, I've noticed that, because it burns pretty easy the top layer. So I'm not gonna apply it for too long, but about 10 minutes should do it. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but I'm basically just gonna be adding the fucking pasta into my oven. And be careful, because it may be a bit hot in the oven, because that's what ovens are normally. Ovens are normally very hot. Fridges are the cold one. So that's in there now. Now what you guys got to remember is when you put food in, you don't really need a glove. My England gloves are here. You don't really need that just yet. You need this when you're taking it out. I got these for 50p because England lost because they're shit. You're getting paid 100 million pounds every week or fucking day. You can't score a goal, you, you dickhead. I fucking do a better job. I don't I fucking play football. I didn't bother measuring my milk, I just fucking guessed. But you can use the measuring pot to measure your milk to apply to the pasta. But I didn't do that because I've got a bit of experience and I also forgot. Sorry about that, lads. Right now, basically, it's all in the fucking oven. What I'm going to do is prepare the plates and the fucking final looking serving dish. Okay, lads, it's been about 20 minutes. I've had the fucking chicken in there. I've had the fucking pasta in there. We're about to group it all out. And man, be careful when you're getting out the food, yeah? Because it can be hot, hot, hot. So I'm going to be using all this shit and this to get it out of the oven. Because I don't want to burn myself. If I burn myself, I can't masturbate. I don't really. She does it for me and my girlfriend. So, yeah. Now, just a tip for all you people out there. You don't want to be putting your fucking food onto like, a surface like this because it'll burn it. So I'm placing it here. These are all gone cold now. So I'm just going to make a chop. Yeah, these are all cold. Good, good. It's all cold. So... I'm going to place all the food on there, I'm going to turn off the oven, that is completely ready to go, and I'm going to be dishing up the food, so I'll get back to you guys in a second. Wow, look at that. Rah, wow. Look at that, man. Look, all the meat is in there, it's lovely. He's like, to come out and say hello. And the pasta, oh, wow, the pasta has done work. The pasta has really, the cheese is really looking good. Let's get all this added up together, you guys, and I love it. There we go. Very hot, so what I did, I used this. So the pasta came out like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a bit of a mix, a bit of a stir. The chicken's now, the back has gone flat, but I'm gonna give this a quick stir to make sure all the cheese mixes in nicely. I'm hungry. I could eat a fucking horse, man. You give me a horse, I will eat him whole. Give me fucking Black Beauty, I'll fucking eat her whole. Give me fucking, you know, Toy Story? Yeah, give the fucking toy horse there, I'll fucking eat him whole as well. I eat every fucking horse whole, man. You give me a horse, I fucking do ya. I'll eat ya. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll fuck you all up. I'm gonna eat you all. I'm not messing about. I'm starving. Oh, rah. Look at this, man. Oh, man. Just look how cheesy this really is. Some people don't like cheese, but if you're out there and you love cheese, like me and Shannon, you can just see the cheese. I mean, just, just take a look. Look, I mean, just, just look at all the cheese. We love it cheesy, we do. This is what it's called, cheesy pasta. That's what I've got, the sauce is cheesy. I mean, add a whole fucking layer of cheese on top, man. That is fucking looking lush, man. It's fattening, but I need a fattening because look, man, my muscles aren't so big. So guys, I'm gonna prepare the meal. So let's fucking do it, lads. I'm gonna be using this, man, this motherfucker. Adding that pasta to the plate. Looking fucking sharp, mister. Wow, this will be my one. Just look at how much, how much do you want, boys? How much do you guys want? You guys want me to feed you? You come around my house in real life, I'll give you a nice fucking food. And I said, I'm not going to be ordering you guys no McDonald's, it's going to be ordering the real food. Mm. I just couldn't help but have some. It just looks so good. I got... Oh my... Oh my God. Mm. My God. Wow. The pasta is so good, man. God damn. Fuck. Wow. Shannon's going to love this, man. She loves cheese, my girlfriend. I love cooking a nice, I love cooking my girlfriend nice meal. And I'll tell you boys something, cooking is very, very easy. You put your mind to it. If you enjoy cooking, man, you should keep doing it more. It's fucking lovely. I never used to cook, never. I used to fucking eat microwave meals. But now, ever since I met my new girlfriend, she can't cook because she's only 17. I do all dishes for her and she loves my meals, man. Well, I'd hope so. I would hope she does. I would hope so. This is so good. Just gonna make like that. Plenty. We need to. We're not gonna. Not gonna fill our plate too much though, because we've got plenty. We've got plenty of meat. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna cut open this bag and I'll apply the chicken with the peppers onto our food. My dish first. I'll tell you guys something, man. I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything today, so this is gonna be a fucking great meal. You know, this is looking great. I really can't wait to eat. And the smell, oh, the smell. All I smell is cheese and, and nice, oh, like Mex Mexican barbecue. Oh, 
good. Plenty of peppers on there. Plenty of meat for me. Wow. Bosh. God damn. Shannon, should I spread yours on top or at the side? Same again for my last video. I'm gonna put Shannon's on the side. I'm gonna put mine on top. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna make the plate, the dishes look very, very pretty. Just so you guys can say, wow, you did great. And this is how, if I was to be working for you boys and you guys come to my restaurant, I'll make it look fancy for you guys. So you look at it and you go, mm, that looks great. And this is now the final dish. This is it. The steam's coming from it. It's good. I made it look pretty for you boys. And Shannon likes hers like this. The pasta on the side and the meat there. And I like mine like this. All thrown on top of each other. So lads, let me just say a quick thing here. I haven't been cooking for a long time, man. And I really enjoy cooking. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you liked it, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Our last video got 1,200 likes and that is huge. So thank you guys for supporting me. Thanks for supporting me as a chef, as a YouTuber, as a streamer, as a gamer. And if you guys want to see more, make sure you like the video. Thank you so much. Leave your uh, comments or ideas in the section, in the comments, and then I'll get back to you guys. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the future. Peace.